Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson, and today I want to show you how to dramatically speed up your video exports in Premiere Pro, and show you how I took a 14 minute video export down to four minutes. Sound awesome? Okay, the latest version of Premiere Pro now supports hardware encoding using your graphics card, which means that your video exports can now be up to four times faster. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the exact steps that you need to take to make sure that hardware encoding is enabled so you can get that faster speed on your PC. Yes, you heard that right. Unfortunately, from all my research, this technique does not work on Mac OS yet. Hopefully, it will be enabled in the future. Now let's get started. First, you should open up Premiere Pro and go up here to Help About Premiere Pro. Here you should check and see if you are on version 14.2.0 or higher. If you're on an earlier version, this is not going to work and you're gonna to need to update Premiere. You can update Premiere Pro by opening up the Creative Cloud desktop app, clicking Updates, and then here next to Premiere Pro, you will see a blue Update button. Once you update and you see it says V14.2, you're good. Next, reopen Premiere if it isn't still open for you and click New Project. Title your project and choose a location to save it. And then here under General, this is very important. For video rendering and playback, make sure your renderer is set to Mercury Playback GPU Acceleration. Because I have an NVIDIA graphics card in my computer, it says CUDA. If you have an AMD graphics card, it's going to say OpenCL here in these parentheses. With GPU acceleration enabled, press OK. Alternatively, if you've already started editing a project and you want to enable GPU acceleration for that project, Go up to File, Project Settings, General, and there you can see the same menu where it says Video Rendering and Playback, and make sure that says Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration. Then click OK. Next, regardless of whether this is a new project or one that you're already working on, go up to Edit, Preferences, Media, and make sure the Enable Hardware Accelerated Encoding and Decoding box is checked. Then hit OK. At this point, you can edit your video as you normally would. Once you're done though, we have a few more steps. Press Control M on PC to open up the Export Settings dialog box. First, to get this faster hardware encoding, you need to make sure that for format, you either select H.264 or HEVC H.265. If you aren't sure, I would stick with H.264. Also, I have some export presets that I've created for Premiere Pro for both 1080p and 4K exports. If you wanna download those, they are linked down in the video description. I'm gonna select one of my export presets now. This is my 4K export preset. And because I have these presets and this video is focused on hardware encoding, I'm not gonna cover all of the basic video settings for your exports. Instead, I'm gonna go down here to encoding settings. For performance, I'm gonna select hardware encoding. And notice that whenever I mouse over, it says utilizes available NVIDIA hardware for quicker encoding. That means that Premiere is telling me that it is going to use my graphics card to export the video. Alternatively, if you have an AMD graphics card, it is gonna say utilizes available AMD hardware for quicker encoding. For profile, mine is set to high and the level is set to 5.2, but this is gonna vary depending on the resolution of video that you're exporting. Like I said, I have those presets linked down in the description. Now, if you've noticed that your hardware encoding box is grayed out for some reason and you're unable to click on it, there is one other setting that we need to check. Let's scroll down here to bitrate settings. And here for bitrate encoding, you'll see that I have CBR selected. Hardware encoding will work with both CBR or VBR one pass. If you select VBR two pass and we scroll back up here, you see it's been changed to software encoding. And if you try to enable hardware encoding, it says the system's hardware does not support it. Click OK, let's go back down. What I would recommend that you do is select CBR. This is the bitrate encoding that I always choose for my exports. The encoding settings and the bitrate settings are the only settings that you're gonna have to change to make sure that your videos export super fast using your graphics card. Time for the last step. You can go down here and click export to immediately export your video in Premiere using the graphics card. But if you want to use Adobe Media Encoder to export your video, that way you can still multitask in Premiere, click Q. Once Media Encoder opens, down here next to Renderer, you're gonna see our old friend, Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration. CUDA if you're on NVIDIA, OpenCL if you're on AMD. Make sure that this is enabled and you do not see software only because if you see software, you ain't using the graphics card and we want that graphics card speed. With that selected, click the green play button and your video will start to export 
super fast. That's it. Now, if you have an issue with any step in this process, say under project settings, you are stuck with software only, you cannot select GPU acceleration, or hardware encoding is not available whenever you're trying to export your video, here are some steps that you can take to try to make it work. First, check and see if your computer has a graphics card that's capable of hardware encoding. If you're on Windows 10, go down to the search icon in the bottom left and search device manager. With the device manager open, go down to display adapters, hit the drop down, and there you will see the graphics card that you have installed in your computer. If you use an NVIDIA graphics card, I've included a link down in the description to a page from NVIDIA where they list all of their graphics cards that support NVENC, which is what Adobe uses for hardware encoding. Basically, if your graphics card is a 1050 or newer, it should support hardware encoding. Regardless of whether you have an NVIDIA or AMD graphics card though, I would highly recommend that you update update your graphics card drivers to the latest version. I will link to websites down in the description where you can update both your NVIDIA and your AMD drivers. Also, if you check your display adapters and it says Intel integrated graphics, I'm sorry, but this form of hardware encoding is not going to work for you. Lastly, if you're working through your export settings and you mouse over hardware encoding here, and it does not specifically say utilize available NVIDIA hardware or AMD hardware, instead says a more generic utilizes available hardware or something like that. That may mean that your computer is using Intel QuickSync instead of your graphics card. In that case, I would not recommend using hardware encoding because Intel QuickSync has a chance of degrading your video quality. Now I cannot go into specifics about how to disable Intel QuickSync on your computer because that is going to depend on the motherboard that you have installed in it. But to sum up what you should do, if you have a dedicated graphics card but it's not showing up whenever you mouse over hardware encoding, you should go into the BIOS of your computer and make sure that your integrated graphics are disabled. This should disable Intel QuickSync and make hardware encoding work with your dedicated graphics card. With that, I hope this video has helped you speed up your exports. If you have any questions or comments or need help with any aspect of this, I would love if you would consider joining my Facebook group and asking questions to me or the members there. It's linked down in the video description. Also, it would be a huge help to me. If you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, please consider liking this video and subscribing. Lastly, don't forget to download those Premiere Pro export presets linked down in the video description as well. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.